Hello beautiful people around the web, this is Nikos HD. I'm your host for today's video and this is just something that um, has been bugging me for quite some time. The first thing is, just look at that. People who, who claim or proclaim out loud and just say, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. Like when you play online and then you're like, you feel very... I don't know how you would describe the feel that you have when you see someone who just says, Oh, I'm a YouTuber and all that. And yeah, I don't know. I, I used to do that as I had like, I don't know, 150 subs or something like that. And I checked, there, there are like two people I wanted to show now. Um, I don't have the video edited and clipped and whatever. I just, I just show whatever. And as I talk, I then afterwards cut everything together. Anyways, the first guy I show is a approximately 10 years old according to what he sounds like and there's a word in German that pretty much describes that pretty well that it is not ex existent in English in the English vocabulary at least which is um, called Fremdschämen that means you are ashamed of someone you don't know it's like strange ashamed or stranger ashamed something like that it's like just a literal translation right now but you feel ashamed for for you just feel ashamed that other people do whatever they do and you're like oh no why like th this is so indescribable but you all know what i exactly mean because all of us had this once at least when there's like someone or like a, a maybe a friend's friend who does like stupid stuff and you're like they're understanding oh my god i'm somewhat connected to that person what what the hell am i doing here or what the hell are they doing here yeah and that is pretty much what what went on here every time i see like one of these youtube youtuber guys or like having hashtag youtuber or a clan tech as youtuber whatever i always feel this um stranger ashamed basically and it's very weird i i try to check them out like how good are they what are they doing like on youtube and every single time otherwise i can't even find the youtube channel or there's the I don't want to. I don't want to judge on people, but they are really bad. I mean, the quality. It's it's about the quality. It's about the the age. I mean, I cannot take anyone seriously as long as he's very talented and does very good stuff like advice, like don't know tutorials, which I um, pay high respect for. But when they're like I don't know, ten years old and just do whatever, like like this high pitched voice, that is really getting to my nerves, and I try to. I try to avoid that as much as possible, but I don't know, but they kind of find me and I can't avoid that. So I, I just try to check that out and see if I'm right I'm right every single time. Everyone who has this YouTuber tag is always from 10 to 14 years old, have like 50, yeah, he had like 32 subs. And the other guy I couldn't even find. And seriously, I didn't find him. I, I just cut it like right now here, I think. I, I went to the browser. I, I, I tried to find his name. I, I couldn't. He was not existent on YouTube. I, I, I don't know what was going on. And I find it kind of funny to be sarcastic just to say, Oh, can I be in your YouTube video and whatever? And they take it really seriously. <laughs> and you're just being a big jerk or I am being a big jerk, but pff, whatever. And I find it kind of funny to just play with them and see how good they perform. And they are really not good. Um, I, I, when I play, I'm usually on the top leaderboard. I'm usually MVP. If not, then I'm actually upset because I cannot, I cannot understand why I'm not first place. If I'm not like if I if I join mid game and not first place that's alright but if I start when everyone is reset on points and I'm not first one at the end of the day I kind of upset because I didn't fulfill my purpose playing the game and bringing our team points basically and make us win but when I see those guys with a YouTube hashtag or whatever YouTube tag it is very disappointing to see how bad they actually perform. And it's not like that they have to be a best player ever, but it's just so obvious. It's, I don't know, um, this guy has like the base jumper and the the whip and I don't know, the original for some, for some reasons. I mean, you can use it, but he doesn't even take use of the base jumper once. And I have, e I have even the quick fix to jump with him, but he doesn't even jump. Then I give him the crits and I crit him and he doesn't hit anything. Or if he hits, then it's very poor. He ran past a spy and uh, like these, these basic things that you cannot really 
process uh, with your mind that if that happened to you, it, it would never even happen. So whatever. Let us just let's 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 put aside that. It's just do you have like had this that there are people who just say, oh, I'm a YouTuber and I'm super cool, and they maybe don't say that, but it's exactly what it says. It's like it's like their name is speaking right into your face, and you cannot avoid it. But just uh, it is very strange. Yo, okay. The the next thing is basically um a hacker. Haven't had that in a long time. And that is now a sniper hack again. I don't, I don't understand why people, if they hack, always take sniper and being not even they, they are so not subtle, subtle about that, what they do. Like they just, they just take sniper and insta, insta quick scope headshot everyone instead of like going soft and trying to ESP and warlock and just try to, to get this small advantage and not and always being on top, but no, not like being threatened by anyone to take the leaderboard. I mean, that's what it's about, isn't it? I mean, if you get spotted, you get kicked, you get banned and all that, but if you not get spotted, you have more fun, I think. I mean, I would do that. I would, if I had hacks and I would use this to really abuse stuff and be, I, I wanted to be banned, I don't, I don't really know. But that guy is so obvious, I was spy with the dead ring and he just shoots me every single time as I'm invisible and pretty much invulnerable and he shoots me twice or something. It's, it's really ridiculous and I even managed to kill him but as I tried to get some research done I figured out that he actually has an old account that has been banned as well and I um, encourage everyone to report him too. Uh, some dude did that as well, it reported him and we went to Spectator to see how it performs and it was very, very obvious even though it, I had the proof right on my hand as I was just shot by him every single time. So. Uh, yeah, I just I just said to everyone that should kick him should kick him because as blue people you can't kick red and other way around So you have to be in the same team to kick someone and then they finally got him kicked and it was fine again the, the game was fun. Everyone was fine So whenever you have hackers on your on your team and on your match or whatever just go to that to the profile typing in the name report them and try to get them banned or expelled from the server you're on. That's all you can do. I was kind of um, ranting about as I was playing. You may see that in the chat sometimes. I'm I'm really not a fan of hackers. So yes, that that's pretty much it about it. Yeah, that's it. I think that's watching. It's pretty much a long video again, almost eight minutes. I think that's watching. I hope you enjoyed it somehow. I don't know how you can enjoy this because I'm not really doing anything productive. I'm just talking into a microphone and looking at a screen as the gameplay fl flows like, I don't know. So see you guys next time. And as always, people, keep it up.